Is your Android Auto not working in your GMC vehicle? Well, let's show you how to get it up and running. Quick fix number one, which usually solves a lot of problems, is gonna be your cord. If your Android Auto is not working, it could be your USB cord. That's the most common mistake if you're using wired Android Auto. You wanna make sure your cord has like a USB symbol on it there, and it is available for file transfer. So your gas station cord or a cord you got at the dollar store most likely is not gonna work with Android Auto. Try to use the cord that came with your phone or if it has this USB symbol on it, like I said, that's gonna be the proper cord. Now, if you're using wireless, first thing I would suggest, restarting your phone. A quick restart on your phone is gonna fix a lot of common glitches. So another trick you wanna do is clear your app cache or your data from Android Auto. So you're gonna go into your settings here and you are going to go into your apps on your phone and you are going to find your Android Auto apps. You're gonna find Android Auto right on your apps, storage use, clear cache, and clear all your data. This just kind of wipes the Android Auto app clean so that it's not searching for any other cars or anything like that. Another quick fix, you wanna check your permissions. So sometimes phones don't allow all the features of Android Auto if they're not set on and it will not work properly. So you wanna go back to that screen, your Android Auto up, and you wanna hit your permissions and you wanna make sure everything is allowed here from your calendar, your call logs, contact, microphone, notifications, SMS. You wanna make sure everything is allowed so that it can properly function. Now, if that still isn't working and you haven't got connected, right now we're in a 2023 GMC terrain and there's a few things you can do. We were talking specifically about the phone. Perhaps it's a problem with the vehicle. So what I would recommend you do is grab a friend's phone or your partner's phone, sync their phone to the car. And if their phone's not connecting, then we know it's a problem with the vehicle and it's not just your phone. But those tips we just mentioned are going to fix a lot of your issues. Woo. If it's still not working, it most likely is your vehicle. How you can fix with your vehicle, my first step would be to do a factory reset on the vehicle infotainment itself. So pretty much here, when you hit home on your car screen, you're gonna go into the settings here and you are going to erase settings and personal data. What that is gonna do, it's gonna wipe all of the previous connections, any other Bluetooth connections that were previously connected to the car. Maybe you bought your car used and there was already a phones connected. Just hit erase and that is going to clear everything. As you can see, the radio just reset and it's gonna give you a fresh start with your infotainment screen. And now we should be able to pair to Bluetooth and connect to the Android Auto. Woo. Now, if you are still using a wired connection, make sure the USB inputs here down below, make sure they are clear, they are functioning. Ideally, if it charges your phone, it should be connecting. Another solution you could do, you also want to swipe down from the top and on my phone here where it says system charging, I wanna select this and I wanna hit tap for more options. And here, you can see my phone is only selected for charging only. I wanna make sure it says Android Auto and I have this one connected. I'm just gonna put my fingerprint in there and now it's gonna work for Android Auto. So that's another solution for you. If you're not up and running by now, I would suggest starting and stopping the car, turning it off and turning it back on. That will fix the main cause for any minor glitches. If that still doesn't work, you've determined that it's not your phone, it is the car. I would recommend maybe going to a GMC store and visiting the service department to see if they have a solution. If there's a solution I haven't mentioned in today's video, put it in the comments. But there you have it, guys. Hopefully we helped you get your Android Auto up and running in your GMC vehicle. My name is Christopher. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new, and we'll see you in the next one.